Ola Chowning, the ISG lead in the EMEA region for our Women in Digital program. It gives me great pleasure to welcome you to the 2023 EMEA Women in Digital Awards. The ISG Women in Digital community is dedicated to connecting, educating, empowering, and recognizing women as they navigate the changing world and make the most of their digital future. While we may not always be recognized as the face of digital, women have played a vital role in making the digital world what it is today. The Women in Digital Awards recognize women and their accomplishments. It allows us to celebrate those women who have mentored, supported, guided, and led our industry and our community by breaking the bias, embracing equity, defining new possibilities for women in the workforce, and delivering outstanding contributions to the digital world, while remaining, at the heart of it, women, mothers, daughters, sisters, and friends who carry unique perspectives that enable innovation through diversity. With my fellow judges, Helen and Isabel, it was no easy matter to select our winners from the over 100 women who were nominated. I'd like to congratulate all of our finalists and urge everyone to explore this fantastic group of women through the ISG Women in Digital 2023 ebook. Please join me as we honor our winners and be sure to celebrate those important women in digital in your own life as we look to continue to expand the value that women bring to the technology industry. Thank you. Thank you so much for opening our show, Ola. Welcome everyone. Hannah and I are so excited to be your MCs this evening at ISG's EMEA Women in Digital Awards Ceremony. The first time we are hosting the event across Europe, the Middle East, Africa, and Africa. Thank you so much for joining us from wherever you are across the globe. The Women in Digital Awards are about celebrating women in the technology industry. An industry, although improving, is still one that is dominated by men. Last year, it was reported that only 25% of CIOs in Fortune 500 companies were women. So it's clear that the achievements of women need to be celebrated. And that's what makes awards like these so important. And in this evening's ceremony, we are delighted to celebrate these achievements and recognize some of the extraordinary women that have made an incredible impact on the digital world. Hannah and I will be handing out five awards this evening. These are Rising Star, Women's Advocate, Digital Innovator, Rockstar Leader, and Digital Titan. We've heard from our first ISG sponsor and judge Ola, and we'll also be hearing from keynote speakers and the judges who had the tough task of selecting our very deserving winners. So let's get started. It is my pleasure to introduce our first keynote speaker, Isabel Rouchenou, former Group General Counsel and Head of Contract and Commercial Management at Capgem Capgemini Group. Isabel has over 30 years experience in law and spent a large part of this time demonstrating her strong leadership at the Capgemini Group, playing a pivotal role in the creation of the legal department, launching contract compliance optimization. She is a passionate advocate of gender equality she was the founder and lead of the Worldwide Women Capgemini program. So please join me in welcoming Isabel. Good morning and good afternoon to all. I'm Isabel Rouchenu. I'm the former Group General Counsel and former Head of Commercial and Contract Management of the Capgemini Group. And in addition to those jobs, I was also the founder and lead worldwide of the Women at Capgemini program, which was the gender balance program of the group. And this says much about my involvement and how close to my heart gender equality is. Today, I'm really honored to have participated to the ISG Women in Digital Awards. And I would like to share four or five thoughts with you in connection with that award. First, my gratitude. My gratitude to ISG for organizing it. My gratitude to the nominators to take the time to identify your profiles. And my gratitude to you all as nominees to participate because I'm sure it took you time to tape those videos in a very genuine way to share your profiles, which I very much appreciate it. Second thought, the quantity 
and the quality of profiles that you represented are really inspiring and motivating. It shows that when women are at it, they can do it and that you have already prevailed in the digital industry. However, and there is a however, in the digital industry, women at large are not quite yet there. Look at a few statistics. 28% of women only are engineering graduates. There are only 22% of women as AI workers and 23% of women in STEM. So what does it tell me? In an industry which should naturally have embraced women at par with men because it's a relatively new industry and we should all grow together and invent the new world of digital tomorrow, women represent still sadly a smaller proportion of the workforce. So what does it tell me? That's my third point, that women do require encouragement and empowerment. And what is empowerment? And there I will read a definition which I found, which I thought encapsulated it all. It's the process of increasing the capacity of individuals to make choices and to transform those choices into actions and outcomes. It has to do with growing your power and unleashing your potentials. So encouragement and empowerment are not things which are likely to happen alone. We need others to help you and help women in general get there. And men who are listening to this video, you are change agents if you represent roughly 75% of the workforce globally. And I know that in certain companies, you are already there, but others not. So men, look at yourself as a father, as a brother, as a friend, as a colleague, as a boss. What can you do to help women transform and get empowered and get encouraged to get there? It's really important that we do it with you hand in hand. And that leads to my fourth uh, conclusion, sort of. The ISG Women in Digital Award, in and of itself, is a source of empowerment. And I think it is a RIT, R-I-T, recognition, inspiration, and information element of things. And it's fun because RIT in French means ritual. So ISG, why not make of the Women in Digital Award a ritual year after year? And certainly you can count on me to contribute if you need me. Now, what is this RIT? This session, this award has been a source of recognition of your talents. Whether or not you made it as the winner, you have been a nominee. And this in and of itself is really important, should make each of you extremely proud, looking back at your experience, where you are today and where you could be tomorrow, continuing to press the button and excel in your respective industries. So this is really a source of self-esteem and contentment. Second, it's a source of inspiration. Rest assured that the young generation need people and profiles like yourself to be inspired and feel that they can do it themselves. And third, when you do that, and when more women are holding positions like yours in the industry, it's a source of transformation, source of transformation of the role in digital, of your respective industries in which you are, because more women are getting there, and more generally of society. And personally, I'm convinced Society can only be transformed if men and women together work hand in hand. And last but not least, my fifth point is to share a few tips about how to get there. My 23 years in Capgemini and 70 years at the bar internationally working as an attorney 
what did I feel helped me get there? First and foremost, set your goals. Without a goal, you don't know where to go. And those goals, rest assured, need not be fixed. They can evolve with time and you can grab opportunities. And that's, in fact, really important to be able to recognize those opportunities and eventually to shift and grow in another sector or in another role. Second, be, if possible, assertive and positive. Assertive means demonstrating self-confidence. And as a woman, I have to say, I had, it took me time to gain that self-confidence. And I think more generally, men are more inclined to have self-confidence than women. I don't know why, but it is what it is. And I have to share with you that in my 23 years in the IT industry, the only people who have refused the promotion when I offered them to, to them were women. And that never happened with men for me. I think men embrace the promotion and then figure out how to get there. And this is not only my conclusion, but many managers have shared this conclusion with me. So be assertive and positive and develop a I can do it attitude. It's really important and it's really encouraging to others. If you lead teams, having a I can do it um, leads to a positive and, and more enriching uh, attitude and it leads to more success. Um, surround yourself by positive people. The morning and groaning are not likely to inspire and give a good spirit in your environment. So if you can select your environment, be surrounded by positive people. And if you can get a mentor, it's really helpful to have someone you can look up to, ask some advice and be inspired. Help women. It seems simple, but it's not that simple. And my observation is I've seen men really help each other. I'm not sure yet women can do that and demonstrate it as much. So think of it and help other women in your circles if you can, in your family circle, in your friendly circle, in your organizations. And network. Networking is key. It enlarges your circle. It opens your mind. It gives you opportunities. So men are doing that really well. I think women should network more. The coffee at the end of the day, the beer, whatever, the opportunities to see each other and share our doubts, our successes is really, really important. And with that, I will conclude again with my gratitude. A lot of thank you to ISG and to all of you. And I wish you the best of luck in your careers. Thank you. Thank you, Isabel, for such an inspiring keynote and for all the wonderful advice. I will certainly be, certainly, certainly be taking that on board. And now we're going to hear from our final judge, Helen Ricardo, who is Global Head of Advisors at Atos. Helen has over 20 years experience in digital. She is a pillar in the tech industry and an outstanding leader and mentor for women. Hello everybody, my name is Helen Ricardo and I'm Global Head of Advisors at Atos. Along with Isabel and Ola, it has been my absolute pleasure to judge the EMEA ISG Women in Digital Awards 2023. But my goodness, this was not an easy task. My own career in technology started way back in 2002 with a digital startup that had a vision to move customer acquisition and retention online it's hard to believe that this is what's considered as revolutionary. It's been fascinating to see the advances that digital technology has made over these last 20 years. But it's been even more remarkable to have witnessed the changing role of women in our sector during this time too. To all of the finalists in the ISG Women in Digital Awards, you represent this change. You are the force that is shifting women to the front and centre of technology. There is still some distance to go, but our industry now clearly depends on the talent, innovation and leadership of the women within it. And now to the luminaries, an enormous thank you. We have laughed, we have cried, we have been in awe and we have been humbled by your amazing stories. Let's take a moment to celebrate all of those who were nominated for the 2023 
ISG Women in Digital Awards, EMEA. Thank you for sharing your bits in your lives and for telling the amazing stories about standing achievement. It had been hard to pick the winners because every single one of you is a standout champion. You have inspired us beyond words and it's been an honour. Congratulations, thank you, and I hope you enjoy the rest of the ceremony. Thank you, Helen, for such a great keynote. And you summarised it perfectly. The luminaries in EMEA this year have been outstanding. So now we had some great keynotes, but the moment we have all been waiting for, the awards. Tonight, ISG is recognising gold, silver and bronze winners in each of the categories. So we will announce the bronze winners first, followed by the silver and finally our gold winners per category. First up, we are going to start with Rising Star. <music> So Rising Star is a woman who demonstrates exceptional and continuous growth in contributions to her organization, to her clients, with increased levels of leadership, responsibility, and sphere of impact. The Bronze Award goes to Alexandra Dennett, Global Relationship Manager at Genpact. Congratulations, Alexandra. The Silver Award goes to Aditi Saro, Senior Director, New Business UK and I at Tech Mahindra. Congratulations, Aditi. And our winner for the Rising Star Award is Mariana Dinners, Global Head of Digital Solutions at Foundeva. Mariana has successfully spearheaded a remarkable shift with 70% of her digital team composed of talented women from across the globe. Mariana's team has described her as an inspiring leader and an exceptional storyteller. 
Mariana believes that true innovation emerges when the human experience is at its core and she has seamlessly woven together digital expertise, emotional intelligence, creative thinking and a firm commitment to results. Congratulations, Mariana. I would like to welcome you to the stage. Thank you. <clears throat> Try to not to be too emotional. Thank you very much. And thank you to ISG and the judges. It's hard to describe what this tremendous rec recognition represents, not just to my personal life, but also to my professional life. Thank you, ISG, for this recognition and for creating such an important award. First, I would like to thank all my family and friends for the support and encouragement, and especially to my grandmother, who taught me that the most important thing is to do what you love. She was a very known writer in Brazil and worked every day until she was 90 years old. When I told her about being a finalist for this award, she was so proud that she was telling everybody she knew about it. She's not here anymore to see that I won it, but I feel that I'm winning it for her and for all the women <clears throat> who face challenges on balancing multiple roles and responsibilities in our lives and that never give up on our dreams and standing up for what we believe in. I would also like to thank Foundever. Ever since I began the, with the company six years ago, they have given me the autonomy to innovate and explore my creativity and making it possible for my team to deliver our digital offers globally. I'm completely passionate about my work and this award proves me that I'm going in the right direction. But it's not just mine, but also for all my team. I'm lucky to work with many talents around the world and we are working together to make a difference in the digital space. Thank you very much. Well, Mariana, just a huge congratulations again. You truly are an inspiration and just excellent job. So congrats. Thank you very much. <laughs>
through it, uh, through it all, I've always found that women need each other. They need a safe space. They need um, to, somewhere to demonstrate, I think, their boundless potential. So, you know, this is this is my life's work and this gives me the most joy. So I'm really, really honoured uh, to be recognised today. And my final point would be, you know, I believe if there was more female leadership in, in the world's top positions the world would be a much better place so I hope that we get there one day and my dream is to shift the dial on that so thank you so much I'm really honoured amazing thank you so much as well Matali and I wish the same as well um, congrats again <laughs> thank you Great, so we are on to the next award, um, which is Digital Innovator. So the Digital Innovator is a woman that pushes their organization, client, and the industry to leverage the latest digital thinking and solutions. So the bronze award goes to Anka Yernanesco, VP of Engineering, Stores of the Future at IKEA. Congratulations, Anka. The Silver Award goes to Ruha Anthony, Lead for Innovation and Technology at Nestle Germany. Congratulations, Ruha. And our winner for the Digital Innovator Award is Pal Busate, CEO and founder of Kinseed. Pal embodies digital innovation in her quest to revolutionize the way the healthcare industry leverages data and technology. Through applying her personal experiences and extensive knowledge of the healthcare industry, Pal embarked on a transformative journey leading to the creation of Kinsey's Swiftcare platform. This groundbreaking platform has been instrumental in enhancing critical care, improving patient outcomes, empowering doctors to do less with more, and above all else, saving lives. An example of this is at Great Ormond Street Hospital, where PAL's innovations have saved an incredible 40 to 90 minutes of administrative handover and safety check timings across every single acute paediatric transfer. That is just phenomenal. So PAL, she leads her company in creating breakthrough ideas and concepts while striving for the most effective, agile, modern and innovative approaches possible. So huge congratulations, Pal, and I'd like to welcome you to the stage. Wow, this this really is deeply surprising and honoured. I am so honoured for this, this award. It's it's incredible. Um, and, and I guess this award is not just for me. It's for my incredible team at Kinseed, but more importantly, the trusted clinical partners that we work with. You know, we're so proud of the work that we're doing with acute care. I know what it's like to be a mother in intensive care environment when my son was born with two holes in his heart. The clinical teams did an amazing job, but they were crippled by the tools that they were using. So I've made it my personal mission to address this, this space. You know, in today's world, you and I can track our taxis and we can track our takeaways effortlessly, but the clinical teams in an acute settings can't monitor patient vitals as patients are on the move remotely to provide the right support to a mobile intensive environment. And we tackle that, that challenge because for me that just didn't sit right because we're investing more in other social media stuff rather than really investing in, in technology that's going to impact the, 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 the healthcare performance. And for us, you know, it's, it's about bringing the clinician's dream to reality and that's exactly what we've done. We've done through innovative solutions and designing things that are simple to use so that the clinician can focus on what's more important, the patient. And for us, it's about working with people, people with common purpose and passion. And I'm very fortunate that we've got clinical teams who are totally passionate about improving the life of, of patients. And for us, it's about delivering the right solutions. Uh, for them to fulfill their passions. I'm truly grateful to the judges and truly grateful to ISG for recognizing me for, for this award. And more importantly, I truly believe this is not just for me, it's for my team. 
and the clinical teams that I work with. So thank you so much and congratulations to everybody else. Oh, thank you so much, Pearl. I mean, just huge congratulations and truly thank you for what you are doing to just change the healthcare industry. It's, it is incredible. So thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Hannah, and congratulations, Pal. What an incredible story that is. Okay, on to Rockstar Leader. So Rockstar Leader is a leader that has led her organization through a major transformation, demonstrated exceptional leadership skills, and has had a significant impact on her organizational company. So the Bronze Award goes to Moira Cheng, Senior Manager in IT Operations and Experience at Vodafone. Congratu congratulations, Moira. The Silver Award goes, goes to Nicole Henderson, Deputy Director of the IT Division at the UN Refugee Agency. Congratulations, Nicole. And our winner for the Rockstar Leader Award is Bernie Chassain, CEO of Growing Markets at Atos. Bernie has over 18 years experience at Atos, holding various roles at management level. She was Atos Group Strategy Lead and led the new Atos Transformation Program. Bernie now leads the growing market practice at Atos, which covers the regions of Africa, Middle East, Turkey, Iberia, and South Africa, with the business generating over 500 million euro in revenue, encompassing over 9,000 technology experts. This practice has strong ambitions, and through her inspiring leadership, they are delivering with growth of 20% year on year. Gender, diversity, equity, equity, and inclusion is important to the practice and there are plans to recruit, mentor, and promote female talent in their organization. With her exceptional leadership, she fosters innovation, collaboration, continuous improvement, attraction of talent, motivation in the team, and sets an example of excellence and human quality, a true example of a rock star leader. Congratulations, Bernie. I'd like to welcome you to the stage. There we go. Hello everyone, uh, can you hear me? Yes, um, thank you very much for the nice words, <laughs> very <laughs> appreciated. So first of all, thank you for this uh, event and congratulations of course to all the finalists. It's uh, really a tremendous honor to be awarded this year um, and I would like to express really my gratitude for this uh, award. I'm truly thankful for your support and this recognition as a woman in the IT industry. And I'm really glad to be uh, close to uh, all the women uh, here uh, that we hear today. Thank you, especially for those who um, propose my name, uh, who uh, vote for me and uh, to some extent trust and believe in me. But thank you, uh, um, most importantly, uh, to the uh, Artus Growing Markets team uh, that is uh, the reason why I'm here today, uh, it, it's such a privilege to work with such a fantastic team. So great to work um, in this uh, multicultural uh, and extremely diverse and really diverse environment with uh, also this uh, one team spirit and this uh, I can do it spirit uh, that was mentioned just before. Um, and I would like as well to thank you, ISG, uh, again, uh, for the organization of this award and this ceremony. And uh, thank you for the ritual, um, for the encouragement, and to some extent for the empowerment. Super, super glad, very proud to be here today. Thank you again. Amazing. Thank you so much, Bernie, and congrats. Well done. Thanks. Great, Lucy, thank you. So we are on to the last award for the evening. Um, for this award, the judges have selected one woman from all of the nominations that we received uh, for this Digital Titan Award. Um, the Digital Titan Award is given to the woman that represents a digital leader. She's well respected within her company and her industry, and she advocates for women in the workplace. And our winner for the Digital Titan is Patricia Sorbera, Global VP of Digital of Delivery for Digital Workplace Solutions at Unisys. So Patricia is a top 25 thought leader. 
She is a CX influencer, a Lean In ambassador, a DEI champion, and a mentor. Patricia is the lead for the Unisys EMEA Women in Tech and fondly calls it her 2am passion project. And I think that's something that we can all resonate with. For Patricia, leadership is a beacon of collaboration, advancement and equality, built upon the foundation of making bold and innovative choices. Patricia brings extensive experience in global technology service delivery, demonstrating a proven ability to drive continual service improvement and optimization whilst consistently exceeding industry benchmarks. Beyond business, Patricia's leadership style has decreased attrition and improved talent retention, all whilst nurturing associate engagement. And this proactive approach has empowered her team to bring forward innovative ideas for their customers, for themselves, cultivating a workforce with a growth mindset. Her team describe her as empowering, as passionate, as disciplined and innovative. And as one of her team aptly put it, Patricia is the leader I truly wish that every employee had. So huge congratulations, Patricia, and I'd like to welcome you to the stage. Oh my goodness, thank you, Hannah. This is one of those moments you, you really don't expect to happen. Um, well, firstly, thank you so much. And in fact, I think thank you doesn't really give justice of how this makes me feel and how appreciative I am of, of this amazing, amazing award, particularly, particularly being in such amazing company. All the finalists here are just fantastic. And, and there is no shortage of amazing and inspiring women in, in tech and women in digital. So this makes it even more special. Thank you so much. And secondly, it's the category itself, which is completely unexpected. And I didn't realize this is what was going to happen tonight. So it just makes it even more amazing and special for me. Um, and, you know, for me, I think many of you know this quote. For me, if you want to lift yourself up, you lift someone else up. Um, and what I always think about it as a leader is, is how do I lift the entire team up? How do I lift the entire department up? How do I inspire others? How do I inspire engagement and, and followership? And how do I lead by example, uh, particularly now that we work in such challenging times, right? With hybrid of work, you can, you, you know, you can't really physically get to everyone face to face. So, so it, it's really been replaced by technology, which makes it more challenging. And, you know, I'm really fortunate to, to have leaders and most importantly, a team, an amazing team who trust me to, to challenge the status quo so that together we deliver the best technology and, and ultimately best business outcomes for our clients. Um, so really, that's why being recognized as a female leader in this category just means so much. It's, it's less about me and more about my amazing team enabling my success, which, which I'll be forever grateful for. I'll stop rambling now and get a glass of something stronger than, than tea in my super mum mug uh, to celebrate with later. Uh, really, thank you. This really means the world to me. I'm really honored and, and grateful to the judges, to the ISG, to everyone here. Thank you so much and congratulations to everyone else. Thank you. Thanks, Patricia. And congratulations to you. Honestly, you've been an inspiration to us all. So yeah, just thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you so much. So we are now on to the closing and can I just say, well, what an incredible evening it has been. I really enjoyed actually just celebrating the exceptional women we've had and heard from tonight. Um, and it's been our first ever award ceremony here in EMEA. So it's just been a, a great time. Um, this award ceremony isn't just about recognizing the remarkable women we've honored here tonight, but it's about acknowledging the collective power of women in technology, women in our industries and women in leadership. It's a, it's a celebration of the endless possibilities when women are given the opportunities, the support and the recognition they deserve. So firstly, I'd like to just say a huge congratulations again to our digital titan, to all four of our gold winners and our silver and bronze winners as well. And then secondly, I'd like to say to all of the luminaries, thank you. Thank you to each of you for showing us what is possible when passion and innovation and perseverance all come together. Each of your individual journeys have been nothing short of amazing and inspirational. 
So to celebrate all of you moving forward, we will be showcasing your stories um, over the next few months in the Women in Digital Awards ebook and on our LinkedIn page. So uh, please do follow along to learn more about these remarkable women and their journeys. Now, a special shout out to my wonderful co MC Lucy uh, for her excellent job in keeping the evening lively and engaging. Uh, thank you, Luce. Thank you to the entire ISG Women in Digital team who all work tirelessly behind the scenes to make this initiative a reality, and especially here in Europe for our first ever award ceremony. Um, I must give a heartfelt thank you also to Hannah Stapleton, who is a driving force behind the scenes um, for her unwavering support and enthusiasm throughout this, this process. Um, and then lastly, but certainly not least, thank you to each and every one of you who joined us this evening. Your nominations, your presence and your support are what makes these awards possible. We hope you've enjoyed the celebrations tonight. We hope to see you next year. But for tonight, congratulations again to all winners. Open a bottle of bubbly to celebrate. I will be to celebrate all of you. Um, but thank you and good night.